If we are together again, it must be Wednesday. And here I am in this old blue sport coat saying to you once again, I miss you and I really do. It is much too quiet around here. Not so long ago, this place was so alive with the sound of your voices. And I am confident that there is coming the day when your laughter and your singing will once vibrate through this building, resounding as we sing together, pray together, worship together, and study together. These are tough days, and we do need a little good news. We do need a break from all the troubling stories that are milling around us. Because if we are not careful, we will come to assume that all news is bad news. And we'll find ourselves convinced that the good old days are gone forever, never to come back again. When things get this way, we need to see things differently. We need to take a look from a different perspective. We need to turn off our devices and stop that steady stream of information that comes our way. We need a little good news today. We need a song to sing. We need a tune to whistle. We need an inspiring story to tell. We need an example of kindness to emulate. We need to change our perspective so that our souls will be filled with a light that will dispel the darkness that hangs too closely to us. So today, we have a little problem. Good news is swallowed up by bad news. Those feel-good stories are buried in the back pages somewhere. Inspiring stories are hard to find. Songs that lift the heart are rare. But if we desire to hear a little good news, we must become more intentional. There are good things in plain sight if we will just wake up and be aware of them. Yet, some days we do have to look diligently for them. We have to be like that old grizzly gold miner, panning the waters for that precious nugget. We have to pay attention to what's going on around us. Listen to the birds singing. Watch the squirrels scamper through the trees. Count the red birds that sit outside your window. Spy on children as they're playing make believe. Notice people doing acts of kindness and compassion for others. We have to be intentional. We have to look a little harder, but it's not all that hard. Just Google feel good stories and you'll get hundreds of hits. There are even websites devoted to good and inspiring stories like the Good News Network or Sunny Skies, offering you inspiring stories from all around the world. And every one of us has wonderful memories stored away in our brains that if we choose, we can take out and relive once again through our imaginations. We all have those good memories. And when we find these things, we must think about them. We must savor them. We must let them sink deep into our souls where they'll bring us a sense of wholeness and well-being in troubled times like these. Because we must be intentional, because we must search diligently for the good things which are all happening all around us despite the bad news that sometimes comes, or seems to always come. I've chosen a special verse from Philippians, Philippians 4, 8, to guide our time of prayer this evening. And it should now appear 
on your stream. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is anything of excellence and is there anything worthy of praise, think about these things. So tonight, let us be intentional about pulling ourselves away from the bad news. Search diligently for some good news, for an inspiring story, for a moment of reliving something wonderful that happened in our past, for paying attention to the kind things, the honorable things that we experienced and saw today. So let us gather our hearts together in these moments and pray. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, in these moments, in this quiet time, help me to recall a good word of kindness or encouragement that has been spoken to me in recent days. Lord Jesus, may your spirit guide me to a place where I may read stories and books that inspire me to affirm the goodness of people and life and resist the intrusion of bad news that comes uninvited into my life. Lord Jesus, may your spirit help me recall an act of kindness I saw someone offer another person today. Help me to count even the smallest acts of kindness I witness today. Lord Jesus, may your spirit help me recall music and songs that inspire me to live hopefully. Grant me the energy to play the music and to sing along with the songs so my soul, my spirit may be lifted. Lord Jesus, may your spirit remind me of some accomplishment that brought me deep satisfaction in the fulfillment of my vocation. Lord Jesus, may your spirit remind me of a movie that has inspired me or reaffirmed my belief in the goodness of people. Encourage me to find that movie and dedicate the time to watch it so that my spirit may be renewed. Lord Jesus, may your spirit remind me that I am free to turn off the negative words and images that come to me through the various forms of media that are so prevalent today. Lord Jesus, remind me that I may excuse myself from those individuals who only focus on what's wrong with the world, and I may choose to be with people who are more hopeful and enthusiastic about life, even during this peculiar time. Lord Jesus, grant me the discipline to find the good things in life and to think on those things.
Let us now join our hearts and spirits in prayer. Lord Jesus, we give thanks for the beauty of your world, for the morning sunrise, for the melodies of the universe, for a cool breeze on a hot summer day, for a gentle rain falling upon the earth, for the singing of the birds, and for the evening sunset which reminds us of the goodness of creation. Lord Jesus, we give thanks for a smile that greets us, for a kind word that soothes us, for an act of kindness expressing care and love, for friendships that endure over time, and for hearts overflowing with peace, which remind us that we are all created in your image. Lord Jesus, we give thanks for all the wonderful things that may bring hope and joy into our lives if only we paid attention to those good things present all around us all of the time. Amen. Tonight, as we leave one another, hear these words of benediction from Fred Craddock, one of the few preachers I ever paid good money to hear proclaim the word of God. Live simply, love generously, speak truthfully, leave everything else up to God, go in peace. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hands. God bless, good night.